Let's pray for these two countries. Heavenly Father, we are just uh, astonished by these images of the Mongolian children on horseback riding through that beautiful, beautiful landscape. And we know that you love this nation. We know that you've handcrafted that nation. But even more than the landscape and the beauty that's earthly, Lord, you love these people. Lord, I can remember praying years ago for Mongolia to be open to the gospel, and you did a miraculous and amazing thing, and you opened that country up. We praise you for the work that's happened there. Just to have our sister Nergui with us, sharing this report, making the first kind of presentation at a gathering like this, is praiseworthy. We thank you for it, Jesus. Thank you so much that they are not just planting churches amongst themselves, but the Mongolians have taken up and have been obedient to the call of missions. And now we're seeing Mongolian church planters go out from that nation into other places. Well, we do pray that you would work through the various training programs that we saw highlighted. Thank you for these 24 churches that have been planted. Lord, we pray that those churches would be protected from the attacks of the evil one. Pray for these first generations of new believers who come in, Lord, with a, probably a very different worldview, that you would transform their hearts, transform their minds. And we look forward, Lord, in years ahead to seeing further reports about how you've grown the kingdom among the Mongolians. Thank you, Lord. And we also pray for Sri Lanka, this island nation that's been divided ethnically and these two large blocks of people, the Sinhalese, the Tamil. And Lord, we praise you that even there, your hand is at work and you're loving these people. We heard, Lord, from uh, Professor Samaratna about corruption in the government and just the various difficulties that are in this country. Lord, we pray that you would use these things things that the evil one means for harm, to glorify yourself and to raise up and show people how holy you are, how much you hate sin, and how you are calling them into relationship with you. Lord, we know that the church there is under persecution. Lord, we don't pray necessarily for protection. We pray for your will to be done, that you, that you would use these situations Again, to glorify yourself among the Sri Lankans, Lord. Also, our brother mentioned that these churches are often pastored by first-generation Christians. And, Lord, I know firsthand, um, having been a pioneer church planter, that many times these first-generation of leaders who haven't had the benefit of Christian homes struggle in so many areas, and yet they're the ones called on to be leaders in these new congregations. We pray, Lord, that you would uh, work through them, work with them, transform their hearts, transform their minds, and grow your church there. And finally, Lord, we lift up the youth of Sri Lanka to you, the new generation, those that do have the opportunity from a young age to grow up in Christian homes and families. Establish them in your word. Establish them in the faith, Lord. And we look forward again to seeing you glorify yourself through this generation. We thank you, Lord, for these two nations and what you're doing amongst them. We pray these things in the precious name of Jesus, who loves the Mongolians and the Sri Lankans more than we ever could. In Jesus' name, amen.